Odenhaga, an ancient land ruled by a giant green lizard capable of human speech. This reptile, Ikala, rests atop a giant purple egg with red dots. Ikala says the egg does not hold its offspring, but rather the last bit of food needed for the great winterfall that will smite Odenok many years later after Ikala is gone. By then, the great lizard will die of old age, unable to protect its people. The Odenaki people are well known for their pale green skin and dark purple hair. Outsiders often mistake them for being sick, which can be annoying for the Odenaki, but they try not to show it, and attempt to stay in control of themselves, otherwise they are weak. The land is barren, just ash brown dirt with no signs of growing flora, let alone food. Because of this, the Odenaki have since resorted to cannibalism only feasting on those who are willing to be fed to others with their flesh. When someone is to be used as food, they are killed quickly with a knife to the head, after being given a potion of sleep. Everyone wears brown robes and black sandals. The women often wear jewelry, such as earrings and necklaces, gifts from their husbands who mine for the necessary material underneath the blue hills. It's very likely that the Ikala was the one who designed Odinok, but it is unknown why, as it never speaks of it. When questioned directly, Ikala answers, I don't remember. It is never day or night there. The sky remains in a perpetual state of dusk. There is no sun or moon, just countless stars to light one's way. Other than the lizard, one of the citizens is popular. Crotty of the Red House. She is known for her kindness, generosity, and the bedroom. Her home is decorated with red everywhere you look. Even the fireplace holds a never-ending red fire, a rare sight nowadays. Ikala says that Crotty will lead her people after it dies, calling her more than capable of it. She isn't exactly cited for the day to come. Rather, she prays for its delay feeling burdened by such duty. And then there's the underground. Unknown to the Odenaki of late, there is a sordid metropolis under their feet. The Gnikin Terrain. Thousands of miles below the surface is an even bigger city belonging to the Gnikin. Creatures of greed and gluttony that hoard all plant life left. The Gnikin resembles centipedes with human faces the teeth of a saber-toothed tiger, and the tusks of a woolly mammoth. Their eyes are like green gems, shining in the dark and piercing the heart and soul as they stare with a blank expression. A wordless declaration of power and dominance over whatever gets too close. Another thing to note is that the Gnigan are essentially immortal. Even without food for years, they lie in wait for more flesh.